Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble up, kids! Word alive! Friends, we are going to talk about a very special memory verse today. And as Easter approaches, Josh, and I hope we all know what Easter means. Easter is when we celebrate the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And on Easter, I know Josh has something special for us on Easter. Can you tell us what it is? I'm going to interview Miss Andrea, the Sunday school teacher, and ask her what Easter means. Oh, wow. So you all don't want to miss that episode. And if you haven't subscribed, you can miss it. So make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the notification so that you will always be notified when we post our videos, okay? Today's verse, we're going to take it from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. And it says, By his stripes, we are healed. By his stripes, we are healed. Do you all remember how we learn memory verses when it's not a sing along? First, we start with, Really low, real low, really high. And then we start with, Really slow. Medium slow, really, really fast. Okay, I'm going to count one to three, and we're gonna repeat after me and do this. Okay, friends, are you ready? Yes. Okay, friends at home, are you ready too? Yes. Terrific. Let's get up. If we are sitting down, let's breathe in, breathe out, shake it out. Now let's do this, Isaiah. Chapter 53, chapter 53, verse 5. Verse 5. By his stripes, by his stripes, we are healed. Okay, now we're gonna go medium low, okay? Isaiah, Isaiah. chapter 53, verse 5. By his stripes, we are healed. We are healed. Now we're gonna scream it for all our neighbors to hear us. Ready for super duper fast and super duper loud. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes. I saw it in the first time. I got it. I got it. I got it. Why is that? Bubble up, kids. What a lie. So, Miss Bubble, how do I use Isaiah 53 verse 5? That's a great question. Josh is asking, how do we actually use Isaiah 53 verse 5? There are several ways you can use this. And most typically, when we're not feeling so good, we can always pray with Isaiah 53 verse 5. And I can show you a prayer you can pray. You don't have to say the same thing, but it can go like this. You can repeat up to me. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus your word says, your word says in, Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 53, chapter 53 verse 5. Verse 5. That's that by your stripes, your stripes, I, am your stripes I am healed. I am healed. So Lord, so Lord. Heal me, Heal me by your stripes. By your stripes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Simple. Was it simple? Yeah. Yeah. It's where you're not feeling good. Whether you have a headache, or you have a tummy ache, or you have a backache, or a toothache when your tooth is falling out. Whatever it is, you can pray. And sometimes we get to drink medicine, but no, we're not feeling good. And that's okay. But when you take the medicine, Always remember to pray on it and tell Jesus, Jesus, as I take this medicine, 
heal me by your stripes in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay? These are some of the ways you can pray with it. You can remember it. Let that word bubble up in your heart when you're not feeling well. Remember it in your head over and over and over again that, Lord, you said by your stripes I am healed. So I am not going to be sick. I am going to be healed because you had all those stripes on your back just for me. So always let that word bubble up in your heart. You can also pray for other people who are sick. So you said I can pray for people that are sick, right? But what if you don't believe in demons? Like, if I'm at school and we just exited a class and he's like, I don't feel too good, can I still pray for him even if he doesn't believe in God? That's a great question. Josh is asking, what if he has your friends who are not feeling so great, they don't feel so good, but they don't believe in Jesus? Can he still pray for them using Isaiah 53 verse 5? What do you think the answer is, friends? Can you still pray for your friends who don't believe in Jesus when no. they are sick? No! 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 Some said yes, some say no. The answer is yes. You can still pray for them, Josh. Even if they don't believe in Jesus, you tell them, even if you don't believe, that's okay, but I believe. Now I'm going to pray for you if that's okay with you. Okay, so even if they don't believe it, you can still pray for them. And guess what? Because you have faith, God can heal them after you pray for them. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Yeah, it's so incredible, guys. Bubble up kids, what a lie! I hope you friends at home, and I hope Josh, you've understood Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. By his Christ, we are healed. I hope you all understand it and you can all use it every day now when you're not feeling well or when other people are not feeling well okay now as usual we have a little quiz to test your knowledge make sure you really understand this memory verse are you ready for quizzes yeah terrific the quiz of today is what are some of the ways i can use isaiah 53 verse 5 a pray for my family and friends when they are sick b Pray for myself when I'm sick. C. Pray it over my medicine before drinking it. Or D. All of the above. Well, that's a great question. Josh is asking what are some of the ways we can use Isaiah 53. And he's given us A. Praying for our family, friends, praying for ourselves. B. Or C. Praying for our medicine. Or D. All of the above. So, friends at home, what do you think? Is it A, B, C? Oh, gee. What do you think, Josh? Well, they all seem pretty good, uh -huh. so I say D! Yay! The answer is D, friends. It's no, all D. of the above. And the most important thing is to believe when you pray, okay? Because when you pray, you believe it, then you will receive the answers, okay? And even if sometimes you're done praying and you still don't feel good, that doesn't mean God didn't hear your prayer, okay? It just means you have to continue praying. God does answer prayers, okay? Bubble up kids, what a lie! Before we leave, we know we have some friends who are watching us all over the world and we want to say hi to, okay? Let me bring my specialist out and we will say hi to some few friends who watch us every week and every day to practice your memory oh, verses. I have a friend I want to say hi to again. Oh wow, okay, go ahead. Ryan, I know you're watching this because I told you, so you better watch. <laughs> Guys, let's say hi to Ryan. Hi! hi. <laughs> okay, you now I have some friends here as well, okay? I have Ayla and Kelvin in Ghana. Let's say hi, Ayla and Kelvin. Hi. hi! I'm saying hi to Ashley, Danielle, Roberti, and Ali in Dallas. Say hi! Hi! Now so we're going to say hi to Kekeli and Sedinam also in Ghana. Let's say hi! Hi! And then my last hi goes to six siblings and they are right here in Dallas. Okay, so I'm going to mention their names. So, hi to Kevin Joshua, Kemuel Inkuzi, Ketsia Akiza, Karen Ish Ishingwe, Kelia Akarabo, Kevin Buruti, right here in Dallas. Let's say hi to all our six siblings who are right here in Dallas, friends. Let's say hi. Hi, hi friends. Thank you all so much for watching with us. 
all the time and if you really want us to say hi to you or if you have a birthday coming up in april or any month in the year just remember to tell your parents to send us your name the country you're watching from to bubbleupkidsshow at gmail.com and we will come say a big hi to you on one of our episodes okay and make sure to like and subscribe like and subscribe guys don't forget that <laughs> before we go guys we want to say a prayer to end this episode let's pray dear heavenly father we just want to thank you for such a special time learning about your stripes in isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 we pray that you help us to always remember this memory verse anytime we, we don't feel so good or anytime any of our families or friends don't feel so good help us to always remember that by your stripes we are healed we ask that you bless our parents all over the world and bless bubble up kids show to reach many children all over the world in jesus name we pray amen, amen. now let's say a big goodbye to our friends bye, bye. Subscribe to Bubble Up Kids YouTube channel and don't miss any episodes. Let's go tell everyone about Bubble Up Kids. Whenever you're in trouble, whenever you are happy, let a word bubble up in your heart. Bubble Up Kids, what a lie!